Good evening everyone and welcome to Her Majesty Blog where we bring together the world of pageants with the aim of revolutionizing the standards of beauty and creating social development through women empowerment. My name is Baby and I will be one of your hosts this evening as we get into our last episode of the month. So that means it is within you chats so today i am not alone i will be with episode um today we are interviewing we are interviewing the lovely hi hi queen how are you I'm well, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, so yeah, here's my co-host for tonight. <laughs> Welcome to It Is Within You Chats. Tonight's episode has the theme or the topic, how to successfully compete in a pageant on a budget. And the lovely Zanande Guliwe will be our guest. I think she's already here as well. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, are you ready for that? Are you, are you excited? Because I am. I am so ready. <laughs> I am very excited. I'm we ready. haven't had that many It Was Within You chats this year. So it is, it's that one day where you're just like, oh my gosh, finally. <laughs> finally. Well, I mean, this is my very first ever It Is Within You chat. So I'm... <laughs> So excited. I'm super excited. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Um, we will just be waiting for Zanande Zanande to get into the live and then we can start with today's topic. It's very interesting. Pageants are very expensive, so you need that budget. Yeah, and I don't think people actually understand how expensive pageants can be. Yeah. Especially when you go and represent internationally. It's, it gets more, more expensive. Yeah, it's super expensive, eh? It's very expensive. I'm struggling to get her in. But... We will see. Oh, here we go. Hi. There she is. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you ladies doing? We're good. good. Thank We're you. Good. We're good. You're so beautiful. She's absolutely stunning. <laughs> and very ready for us. I mean, yeah. oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Did she pause on your side as well, or is it? Me? Yeah, it's like loading. I think it's yeah. probably connection. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, hopefully she's going to be back very soon. Oh my god, and we lost her. Um, Let me try it her again. Wait, here. Yeah. It's like, oh, wait. I'll come back. <laughs> Thank you. I'm oh, sorry about that. I don't know. We understand. Okay. Connection is an issue, hey? <laughs> yes. So I'm going to, I'm going to read your bio to introduce you into like our lives so that the people who are here can know exactly who we are talking to. Okay. All right. So this is Lerato Zenande Guliwe, who is now a Miss Cosmo South Africa finalist. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, beep. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it. She is a go-getter and opportunity taker who wants to make a difference in her community by speaking on behalf of those who want to be heard and acting on behalf of those who can't. 
she is christ-centered christ is her foundation she advocates for education and empowering the next generation of leaders in her community this is Lerato Zenande Gudine. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. How have you been? How's, how's your day? Let's just start there. Let's see. Work was work, you know. <laughs> but it was a good day. Um, was very productive at work. So, yeah. <laughs> and I was just shooting some stuff for the in And, yeah. That's that's really exciting. So that was my day. How was your day? My day was a day as well. <laughs> Nothing interesting. <laughs> work was work, came back, got ready for this, and here I am. Okay. Here I am. Nonele, how was your day? Well, I had a chilled day. I think the weather was absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. I just got doomed for my maintenance appointment. But other than that, I had a good day. I like this. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. So as yeah. I said, today's topic is how to successfully compete in a pageant on a budget, which is very interesting because <laughs> pageants, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. And you have represented us internationally, right? Yes. How I was have. that? How was that? Amazing. Fun beautiful the girls are nice the team was nice i had so much fun to be honest it was ah. it was so beautiful a lot of self-discovery in the process mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of oh my gosh i can do this too <laughs> a lot of places you know so it was it was amazing i met um different people from different backgrounds mm. all over even on the flight, going and coming back. It was beautiful. It was amazing. amazing, amazing. So can you please just share a bit about your journey in pageantry and what inspired you to get into the industry? Oh, what inspired me though? <laughs> How did you get here? So, um, pageant journey started a very long time ago started while i was in high school actually i entered a, a small pageant called miss valentine <laughs> and oh no i was so heartbroken when i didn't win that one oh. but it didn't stop me you know i was like no i'm gonna go for this at first it was all about i'm having fun this is pretty this is beautiful you know my mom supporting me going to other provinces within SA with me to compete and at some point it became like oh actually there's charity work oh there's there's making a difference there's giving back sponsorships there's a lot of knowledge to learn to gain and learn you know there's public speaking I was like oh my word I want to learn how to speak because I am improving even now so I think um the self-development is what's really keeping me going and also giving back to people and especially the charity work that is involved i really love making a difference in people's lives you know children's lives i love children guys yo when i see children a different side of me <laughs> so oh my gosh really inspiring them inspires me to that oh my I never even thought I would be here because I used to be uh, kind of like a tomboy. Yeah, and I like I used to play soccer. Oh I used to play all the. My sports. gosh. You know, I used to be an athlete, yes. and I was like, wow. I, I now I wear heels. I do nails. I <laughs> I do makeup. So yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. I've entered quite a few pageants: Miss Soweto, Miss Intercontinental, <laughs> Miss Royal. Yeah, and. I entered Miss Petite Global. Now I'm doing Miss Cosmo. Ah, oh, Miss Cosmo. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So there's many people who admire how you've achieved so much in pageantry. How did you manage to succeed in competitions without the financial pressure? Since today we're talking about like the financial aspect of pageantry. Okay, so um 
the pageant that I was really passionate about, like Miss mm -hmm. Soweto, it's free to enter. Everything is free. Um, it's very well sponsored, you know, by mm -hmm. white people. And um, so that's why the girls don't have to, like, invest much financially. You just come as you are and you win as you are, you know. And that is such a beautiful thing. And the workshops, they teach you so much. I learned how to do my makeup there, you see. So then uh, since there was a lot of public speaking coaching involved, in, well, I learned how to find my own sponsors when I got into pageantry that needs, you know, that um, is more national, takes you international. So I was like, okay, now I need to stand on my own two feet. Now I need to approach sponsors and people did some research. And yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's great any question right. now when you speak about um sponsorships and all the costs pertaining to pa pageantry what are some tips that you can give out to other contestants on how to save money on essentials like hair makeup accessories and all the pageantry like necessities like mm -hmm. I tried obvious, just learn a skill, learn how to do your own hair, your own makeup. I think that's where it's in your own room, you know, like you don't have to invest too much into it, like worry about getting expensive makeup. I bought my first um, set of makeup from Clegg's. I went there, I spoke to the pharmacist. I was like, you know, I need makeup, I need foundation. And they were able to help me. So learning how to do your own makeup watching youtube videos you know investing time that's where it starts like if you have a heart for something you will give it time and um the second one is seeking sponsorships which is approaching companies writing letters sending emails talking to people getting into a store and talking to them and asking and finding out how can i actually achieve something like this mm -hmm. i am Finalist, you know, getting in there with your sash, using your sash really goes a long way. So that is tip number two. <laughs> and then I actually wrote the tips down, oh. but yeah. Oh. And then the third one is um, thrifting. You know, like you don't have to go and always buy the in a typical retail store. You can like thrift and that will really help because you can get really nice things from thrifting and also that is yeah you can but that can be the interview outfit maybe your blaze not necessarily like a pageant gown you know mm -hmm. yeah but um sometimes you might get lucky because you can get outfits that you can wear at a pageant even if it's not the finale gown but like very cute outfits and then Sheen, guys, Sheen, please, <laughs> she in. That yes. is, that place saved me, you know? <laughs> Cause um, I got my heels from there. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of girls have, hey, I love your heels, girl. They are really high. Where do you get your heels? And I tell them I get them from Sheen, just, yeah. And the, another tip would be creating a budget so when you are trying to create a budget try to overestimate everything so let's say you want to get a dress right and you're like okay the dress is maybe like two thousand rand also in the back of your mind think about things like okay let's say it doesn't fit properly i'm gonna have to take it to a tailor let's say i don't like a certain thing on it and I have to get it altered, you know, and those type of things might also add into the budget because when you get there, you go, you also going to have to pay. And another thing would be sorting out your heels in advance. You know, some people believe in lay buying, girl, go for it. You see, so lay buying or like, um, using some sort of saving account where you put your money separately for mm -hmm. heels need because pageantry really will require a lot from you yeah and i actually wrote quite a, a lot of points you know and also um befriending contestants when you get to the pageant have 
contestants that you can be close to okay you guys are competing for the same pageant together but you can always make friends there where you are going to help them with something and they help you with something else you know i have i've been there <laughs> been there done that so even when other girls need help with something i really don't mind because i do understand the pain of being in a pageant and then maybe you're healed oh no you see and you find out that being nice to people also works in your favor also helps you because now someone else is able to help you because you were nice to them um yeah so maybe like repeating gowns for this pageant and then using it again for another pageant yes yeah so those are the tips that i can i can give when it comes to um like to over for a pageant yeah, and also sponsors, help you, clothes, borrowing from friends. There's no crime in that, you know. Yeah. And yeah. Then are I, there I, any? I, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. You were saying? So I just wanted to add on the drifting part, ne? Mm. Like I like that you brought up the drifting part because a lot of people tend to overlook it, and you find real gems there. Like you can find good quality clothes it's very important and also being nice to other contestants very envy. Yes. thank you for that you know you guys are bringing me on with the thrifting because i don't know <laughs> i did not know I girl you live in joe now i know that you know thrifting is a thing even for pageant girls i didn't know honestly so thank you so much for that now i do now i know in case I go back into pageantry, no. Please. <laughs> like, well, now you live in Joburg, yeah. so you really should. Yeah. Just be yeah, I get that. So, are there any like DIY tips that you can share for creating or repurposing pageant outfits or materials? You know. Ooh, I don't know. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> apart. From from like um even even the jewelry itself i don't think so honestly i don't think so. it depends on maybe like the level of pageantry oh. um yeah. type in you know if you like entry level you enter your local pageants community in the township that is good you can like be as creative as you need to be because sometimes you have creative way segment yeah. where you can use newspapers, recycled material, plastic, whatever it is, cans to create an outfit. And those those usually turn out to be really beautiful. Um, but like, other than that, like when it comes to, maybe for a national costume, then you can like- I was about to say, you know, pageants will, will test your creativity because- They do. What do you do? <laughs> maybe for national costume, for, yeah. say, for national and it's so beautiful because you can like use feathers ostrich feathers uh, bird feathers all types of feathers you can really be like express yourself so yeah how did you how did you go about your national costume for miss petite global so i i got <laughs> i got hollywood oh. costumes to oh. help and i was like guys okay i want to look like a ballerina uh -huh. a blue crown crane because my favorite color is blue okay. and also i i love the spirit of a blue crane and the courage that it has you know like birds are very beautiful creatures so i also see myself as a person who is soaring through life or like through pageantry experience you know in my mind i don't I, sometimes i don't think i'm walking on earth i think i'm like <laughs> because i take risks I do unthinkable things like well things that people other people wouldn't do. I just go ahead and do them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo. So that's why I that national costume. So I yeah. did get a bit of help and I was like, okay, can we do this? Because I, I got a tutu. I was like, okay, I'm I, I love I, I I did ballet. So I danced ballet and I was like, I'm going to reignite that ballet dancer spirit in a bird way you know I, I was thinking white swan black swan <laughs> Ooh, 
But I'm gonna create I'm gonna lose one. So yeah. Creativity, guys. Yo. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then how do you think contestants can leverage their network or community to minimize costs? I think it's the same thing. Or maybe like we kind of like brush through that one mm. where you can have other contestants as friends, you know, like find a group there, you know, mm. chill with the girls, get to know them, um, offer help, help them when they need help, you know, be a sister, you know, sisterhood in pageantry has been, you know, there's girls that I met a long time ago and we still friends yeah. and we met. And so, mm. and I know that, they, when I enter a different pageant, they are there to support me. And even then, when they go on Miss Essay or something else, I will be there. Hashtag. Yes. Oh, Miss Essay, you know. So, yeah. And you'll find me there on the, on the stand, screaming my friend's name. And we met at a pageant, you see. And another thing would be um, maybe if you are in college or varsity, it also really helps when you have friends at res that can help you and also like the whole thrifting thing is, is really big among students because when you're doing pageantry and you're a student yo <laughs> you're in for you get the money yeah so networking in terms of that can really help and also getting to know a lot of fashion designers um it helps because sometimes they can really your rescue some of them are really kind they would just say no just wear this and then bring it back or some of them would uh, would just say okay i'm making this for you keep it you know because yeah. i've seen you know, i've seen that <laughs> so yeah shout out to Cre capable creations by the way because they were there for me <laughs> so shout Shout out to them, Kenneth. Um, and then what, what strategies have worked for you in securing sponsors or financial support when it comes to pageants? Oh, okay. So for this one, um, well, my the other one that I went to, like uh, Miss Petit Global, I had to work so hard. <laughs> I had to work so hard. I went all out. The first mm -hmm. thing I did was asking for donations from people where I stay. So um, I'm staying in town, so that was an advantage. I also asked from my colleagues at work because I was doing my internship. And yeah, they were really supportive. You know, some of them would send me money. And you know, I even got like international people sending money, you know, oh. like from Canada. And <laughs> yeah, you know, how like, did you do that? I have one word for you, God. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, just praying about That's stuff. That's one word, yeah. Just see a whole lot, lot of miracles that you didn't yeah. expect, you yes. know. People you don't just know where they're coming from. Yeah. Someone who has a car is like, you know what, I'll take you where you need to go. I'll take you to the airport. Mm -hmm. I'll take you to your apartment. I'll take you to fetch your national costume, your dresses. I don't mind. Sometimes they'll say, okay, you can pay for petrol. I don't mind doing that. It's mm -hmm. thank you so much for helping me. So yeah. And okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I totally you get you. <laughs> you yes. I mean, why not? <laughs> why not? Any, any question so, that from my side, I wanted to ask, um, when you speak about community, so how, how important is it for the community to support contestants who are competing on a budget? And how would you advise them to create these connections with their communities in terms of support? Yeah, supporting them when they're competing on a budget. Mm, very highly important, you know, because I, I actually, see myself on both sides as someone who is competing needing support and someone who is part of the community who mm -hmm. gives support to people so because i know how difficult it can get number one number two because pageantry really changes you as a person from the inside out really 
uh, you know so i was really into the typical sports of running but now i'm so soft pink lady i'm so pink <laughs> i have become so girly it's shocking you know you you see even how i do my makeup it's like <laughs> So, yeah, and I really believe that strong leadership comes from pageantry, you know, knowing how to speak, how to advocate for something, how to how to stand up for other people, how to say no to abuse, how to be wiser as a person and know how to speak mm -hmm. and really step into leadership positions, stepping into your power. So I'm really for that. And if I get to support someone, I will know that I have invested something into changing this person's life, you know. Um, and I think us as the community should see it that way, that we are not just changing this person's life or giving them an experience to talk about, but we are also affecting the people that they will affect. Imagine if now this person had fire so many more people that i didn't even meet mm -hmm. but because i supported them i was able to use them in a, as an extension to get to other people or other children who need smiles to be put on their faces so yeah that really excites me and i really really love that i really love that oh man pageants are actually important i love what you said about yes empowering you as an individual because i usually tell people that if it wasn't for pageants i probably wouldn't even know what i want to be <laughs> what i want to do for a living I yeah probably wouldn't to be honest so competing with limited resources can be so stressful so now how do you maintain the confidence and the focus while you are under so much pressure the first thing is I don't look at other contestants. Ah, I want to because sometimes you'll be so tempted to look at what someone else is doing mm. and then you lose mm. sight of your own plan. Now you see them doing this. Now you see what they're doing. And I'm like, uh-uh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That is where that is the root of comparison, yes. number one. Yes. So, you see, when, like the best way to destroy a dream, a passion, and a vision is to compare. You see, once you start comparing, now your vision is also going to start changing because now you'll be like, huh, man, why didn't I think of that? Oh, let me go do that. And then now you are putting it within your brand and within your personal identity. Now you're trying to be someone else. So that is the first thing that I really try to do. <laughs> it, um, not, not compare myself to anyone. Yeah. But of course, follow their accounts you know continue knowing them after the pageant you know we meet and all of that mm -hmm. it's nice before the pageant we we want to go out we want to talk about stuff we go live together as contestants mm -hmm. you know that's but yeah i try my best to stay within my own brand and within my own craft mm -hmm. yeah okay that, that's that's amazing and if someone has like a limited budget which areas do you think that they should prioritize? For example, your talent, your evening wear, your travel, your makeup. What what's what should be the priority? I think it's the main gown. Like the okay. if the pageant doesn't sponsor certain things like uh, the outfits, the final gown would be highly important okay. because. Uh, you could get someone to help you with makeup when you get to the pageant. And also, let's just say you are a go-getter like me, you know. <laughs> you learn how to do your ma your own makeup. Maybe when you get there, you don't have the whole makeup kit. You, you borrow certain things. Girls are very nice, you know. I think girls are nice. Even in pageantry, I don't know what your experience is, but I think they're nice. So... Most of them. <laughs> Most of them. Most, Most of them. Of them. Yeah. 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 Some of them are really nice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say the gown itself, mm. um, the, the swimsuit, if you have that, the heels, the shoes, because shoes are the foundation of everything. They actually hold your whole body. 
you are standing on those things so just make sure that you get proper fitting shoes and not last minute because buying a shoe the day before the pageant would also say that you can't walk in the shoe you need to buy the shoe in advance so that you can practice in it so that you would get used to it you know and yeah i, w I would say maybe like the core things would be the shoe the dress period the makeup learn improvise ask someone to do your eyebrows this one will do your foundation that one <laughs> if, especially if it's, if it's a small pageant yeah. you see i'm talking yeah. about pageants where it's not that deep yeah <laughs> ah, that's that's great so make sure that you look the part yes what i'm getting yeah but i've I've seen girls going onto a pageant literally barefaced and they look mm -hmm. so beautiful. I'm sorry, but like they look so I'm like wow girl. <laughs> I think also me too. My first pageant I went barefaced. Because I was I, I was late and I couldn't do my makeup so, so you didn't I just had a bit of powder because it was hot. So I was like, <laughs> let me just powder a bit, Sniana. <laughs> Yeah, and, then, <laughs> and by the grace of God, I was crowned first princess. So sometimes it works. <laughs> you see, you end up beating yeah. the people at those. Every yeah, <laughs> and three D lashes, <laughs> not three D. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> but it also goes with the confidence that you have in your own skin. I feel like. When it's like that, nothing can come to you. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Um, yeah, Donella, any other question from your side? Sorry, I had muted myself. Sorry. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to ask you, what kind of advice would you give to contestants out there who are competing on a very low budget? Um, they are discouraged by their current budgets. Like, what would you say to them? Do not on your dream. One, this is your dream. This is your passion. You know, go out there. People are willing to help. There are people out there who are willing to help. To be honest, I got surprised myself because I thought at some point when I when I entered the international pageant, I was like, "What am I doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> how dare you?" <laughs> the voice. No, yes. how dare the inner voice? How dare that that other voice there? Not me, you know, because mm. I went and, and I filled in the form and I sent my pictures. But there was that voice there saying, "What are you doing? Where are you going? Do you want to get? Where do you, um, you think you're gonna get the money? <laughs> where do you think you're gonna get the money? Hmm? Mm. So, but I was so surprised, you know, when especially when someone decided to send me four thousand rand this one imagine one person you know so I yeah. like, it's I not think, even the half half of it like just one person yeah you know you know the script when the time is right I, the lord will make it happen yes. it is so true and accurate because the lord things happen i got sponsored for all of my gowns all of them and you oh that, guys <laughs> that's beautiful so, so it was a blessing for real. it was a blessing and i i really give a shout out to my god you know my lord jesus christ oh, <laughs> lord, <to> yeah. God. <laughs> yeah so yeah and those yes. tips would also be like that encouragement would be go out there there are people who are willing to help you you can even go to a general practitioner like a doctor go in there because i have i have actually um gotten a sponsorship from a doctor in my community who gave me a brand for a pageant a teen pageant that i had entered and also how another thing that they can use is also using the money that they've got to make more money so i got i literally became an entrepreneur from that i oh. started now you know i made so much profit uh and i raised about 10k 
um, from that, from literally selling snacks, guys. I know it. <laughs> I feel that's, like that's I... smart. <laughs> that was very smart, eh? That is smart. Yeah. Uh, even though like most girls wouldn't do it now that i think about it, i'm like yo i was really into I this tell her what you must <laughs> yeah, my honestly and so invested yeah mm. but i yeah I think so it was a very yeah it was a very practical solution so yeah. it was a very practical one. yeah yeah and it <laughs> could work in your sense yeah it, it you know could even could work it, for you even music it really helps you know i had this song that i used on a lot of my reels unstoppable by sia oh, yeah. i love that song it reminded me that you know what i am fearless i am courageous i am bold i'm brave i'm beautiful i'm all things beautiful and all things gorgeous yeah. so and a I constant to, reminder yeah that you know what you are wise and don't allow anything to stop you because time is something that you will never get back in your life. Mm -hmm. True. It's gone. Once you miss an opportunity, high chances are it's gone. You see? So, it, yeah, it's really, really, really important for you to just go there. Just close your eyes and take a leap of faith. Ooh. And just, you know, <laughs> Be scared, do it anyway. Because honestly, that's what I did and it worked for me, you see. And I got first runner up. Who would have thought? I was Who even like, Who? What? So, yeah. And we, we found out about the pageant through you. Like, we didn't even know it exists. Yes, yes. We found out about it through you. <laughs> There's so many there's so many pageants out there to be honest guys. Like yeah. internet there are so many out there. And when I got to the other side, you know, when you when you travel, you see things, you realize things. Mm -hmm. You even get at how successful other people are, how rich they are, and all of that changes your your perspective. You know, I remember saying this one time that it is so much more worth it to spend on experience because pageantry are an experience mm -hmm. right some of the experience that you might never ever get another opportunity to to do or to experience you see so mm -hmm. once in that invest in meeting people you are literally living life instead of taking your money buying a bag buying shoes that you don't even need because you already have other bags like why are you getting yeah. things that you need just, just take your money and invest in experiences you know go out there see how other people live life other people literally make money whilst while sleeping on the bed oh. <laughs> so i got to realize from other girls that i met in malaysia that people are living life out there don't allow your circumstance to de to, de to determine um your your destination or your future mm -hmm. you know you find it yourself and writing things down is very biblical and it's very it's a very solid practical thing to do when you have a vision put it down on paper because scripture says write down the vision upon tablets and make it plain so that who he who reads it may run you know Amen. so <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's amazing. That is that is amazing. So now you are a finalist for Miss Cosmo South Africa. How can people support you in, in your journey towards becoming our Miss Cosmo South Africa? <laughs> I am dreaming of it. <laughs> okay, so how people can support me is you know, the little things like liking the picture and leaving a comment, that mm. goes a long way. That goes a Simple. long way. Leaving a comment on there, resharing on your status and tagging me and, and Miss Cosmo South Africa official page. Mm -hmm. So it's Miss Cosmo underscore official. Okay. That page and tag me so that I can also like repost what you reposted. Okay. You can also get followers from doing that. You know, let's say... <laughs> let's say that's what you want but yeah. you have nothing to lose from supporting another human being who has mm -hmm. a dream 
is and yeah and then the second thing would be voting so voting lines are open uh when you go page zeni dot lerato underscore you you can you'll be able to see on the highlights where i put miss cosmo and there's a qr code there and there's also a link that you can just click onto and then you'll be able to vote vote start from as little as three us dollars three us dollars imagine that's that's it like yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's how people can support mm -hmm. and resharing stories. Yeah, and also when the page posts, please like, like, you know, comment, share. Yes, <laughs> like, comment, share. Unfortunately, can't subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Maybe We've I should start you. a YouTube channel. <laughs> please do. We're here you to should. support you. <laughs> you should. We will be there. <laughs> One thing about us, we will be there. <laughs> Just like I, the page. I love you so oh, much. Thank it's you. Cool. Thank it's you. Cool. Learn a lot. Hope people get hopefully. Yeah. yeah, I was saying hopefully the next time you come back, for an interview, we will be interviewing you as our Miss Cosmo South Africa. Hopefully, because we interview queens, we interview winners. I mean, why not? Amen. <laughs> why not? <laughs> Hopefully, that will be the case. <laughs> so people should vote for you. People should follow, like, share, and support you so that, you know, you can bring that crown back. And I'm doing it for my babies, to be honest. You know, I had actually planned to take a break from pageantry, mm -hmm. but I was like, um, yo, I'm about to open up now. Yo, <laughs> guys, I don't want to cry. But like, um, I have cousins, you know, like baby mm -hmm. cousins. They are growing, you know, they're growing, they're going to high school. And after that, it will be like varsity, tertiary. So they are orphaned and i really want to support them as much as i can so that they don't end up in drugs alcohol unemployed i don't want that to happen to them mm. so me entering this pageant is so that i can be able to you know reach donors or like sponsorships and scholarships for education especially if I, i'm able to use um the miss cosmo title mm -hmm. to get because I also know that people from my community would also benefit from that. You know, they they are actually in Seattle, so yeah. And I am I am praying, you know, because I I I was at some point I was like, Mara, why are you entering this Miss Cosmo? But honestly, it felt like it's not just desiring that crown. But mm. oh, I wanted it so fancy. But it's like, how else am I going to get? Grocery responses because I I have a very limited salary as where I'm working, yeah, you see, to pay for them to, to go through school and tertiary and support our sick grandmother. But I was like, okay, let me just do a pageantry that is really rooted in community service and charity work. Mm -hmm. And that would really help me push me to push them forward, you know, because they are boys. And you know what usually happens to boys in the township? Yes. Nah. Yes. I, I cannot let that happen. I need to at least try to do my part mm. and then the rest up to them, whether they are going to take that with warm hands, with all of that. So yeah, it's family, it's the community, and it's also the organization that I represent, um, the Merciful Foundation. Um, and also, yeah, and there's also this this um community home that is really close to my heart it's here in pretoria the name is kingdom light child and youth care center okay. oh i love it i love the owner that lady is like a mother mm. of the community she's a mother she's a mother to me you know yeah. and go back there and be like my babies they taught me how to play the violin you know oh. <laughs> so they taught wow. me how to and i really love those children so much <laughs> so much amazing oh, i love <laughs> i absolutely love your why you have you like you
you know exactly why you entered the pageant and i feel like that's what's gonna push you to do really great when you like, get there i i promise you i felt like i am so tired i'm so drained it's been a long that, year that's I lost... where i am <laughs> <laughs> oh i am I'm so exhausted <laughs> mentally okay let me just hold on because this this organization is so powerful when it comes to beauty you know we just want to make we are beauties who make an impact and i just think that it would really help me i love the mission of the organization i love what they stand for i love what they, how they empower women to be beacons of hope in the community and within our nation yeah and you certainly align with mm. that brand I do, I do, because I really work. You know, the, the pageant that I entered, the only thing that I won in that pageant was a Miss Charity Award or like a Miss Charity Award. Because I don't just do it for the sake of doing it because, ah, let's do it before the pageant. No, I I do that without people watching. Like, I don't need any recognition of that or like people to be like, oh, giving to the, no. Oh, no, but because now I want to partner with organizations and I want mm -hmm. businesses and stores to bring those white stars and, you know, those milks and porridges and groceries there, then I need to like use the sesh and go out there. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, that's All nice. the best. <laughs> All the best with your journey, all the best with Miss Cosmo and everything else that you're doing. Um, I wish you, I mean, brah, you got this. <laughs> you really got yeah, this. I feel like you got this. I also wish you come back to pageantry so that we can support one another like sisters. <laughs> so that I can vote for I'll you. think about it. <laughs> <laughs> about it <laughs> yeah you truly are amazing you know you really are that beacon of hope that you are striving to be and i think your cause is very important very sentimental it's beautiful i've never heard somebody um advocates for such a deeper meaning it's always about doing charity outside but it really changes the game when you know that you are just doing it from home it's really like close to you all the best all the best uh, we will like we will share listen we will we do all will the be there. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so so much for agreeing to be with us today thank you thank you let me thank do this oh it's my not God. happening on my side <laughs> it's not, not happening it's a heart <laughs> No, it's fine. As long as you can see this one coming yep, from me. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week. We appreciate all the tips and tricks that you gave us. Now we can go back and budget for pageants and make sure that we are ready <laughs> for our next pageant. Thank you so, so much. Use your own money for sponsorship defeats the whole purpose in a pet. Don't use your own money to pay the sponsorship fee. Go out there and prove your 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 you being a queen. You know, like go out there, talk to people, raise funds, mm -hmm. use the skill, use your mouth, use your voice, use your beauty. You know, don't use money from your pocket because it defeats the whole purpose. Like amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Oh, man. Thank you. Bye. Bye -bye. We will see Bye. you Thank on the you socials. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That was Zenande who was giving us tips on how to, you know, do pageantry on a budget. Amazing conversation. Mm -hmm. So now Thanks. we get to part two of It Is Within You, Chad. And yeah, you are leading us. You are leading us on that. Now it's time for me to listen to you. So now I'm <laughs> taking over this ship. Yes, please. We, 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 have, 
getting to the streets now because <laughs> it's all about what's happening out there the so lady, there's been a lot me. yeah there's been a lot happening in the pageantry streets and yeah some of it made it to the headlines some of it is just lurking in the pageantry world but mm -hmm. however we are her majesty blog after all we bring all the nitty gritties here i'm <laughs> here to find out <laughs> So we're going to start off with the international Grand Slam winners. Okay, so the last three months have been major in the pageantry scene, you know, yeah. Miss Universe, Miss Earth, Miss International, you name them. Um, and the queens have done quite well, hey? Yeah, and I think, um, who, Victoria, we're going to start with Miss Universe. I can't pronounce her name, Shem. She must forgive me. Oh. Victoria Keja. I, I don't know. I think it's a Dutch name or something or Danish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Victoria Keja Tilburg, <laughs> sorry, from Denmark was crowned yes. Miss Universe 2024. And this happens um, after our Miss South Africa Mia Leroux had withdrawn from the competition due to health issues, which was really heart wrenching for most South Africans, you know. Myself, I was heartbroken because I was really rooting for her, you know. I just, I, I, I don't want to say I was desperate. I really yearned for this kind of change um, from Miss Universe. I think it would have had a much greater impact. We would have a better story to tell in terms of. Um, changing the narrative in the pageantry scene. We've never ever had a deaf Miss Universe. I think it, we would still be headlining, headlining to this day. Yeah, even you know. her just getting on that stage would have been a great achievement because they've never had, we've never had a deaf person on the stage, just yes. merely being on the stage. So. But I'm still proud of her for how far she came. Oh, it... Definitely, definitely. I mean, it takes more than guts. Yeah. I mean, she challenged, she challenged every, every boundary, every hindrance. You know, she went all in. She was like, I am doing this. Mm -hmm. I am fighting for the deaf community. And I feel like she represented them very well. I mean... Yeah. She's the only deaf person to make it as yeah. Miss South Africa first things yeah. first before yeah. going out yeah. to the universe even, you know. Um, I'm just rooting for her. She's fighting for a very strong cause yeah. and she's doing it very well. True. Yeah. And then uh, heading over to Miss International. So I didn't follow this one quite well because I got lost in the mistake. I'm rusting. Yeah. <laughs> so Vietnam's Tan Thai is it Tan Thai or is it Tan Thai? Is the new Miss International 2024, and mm -hmm. our Belinda placed in the top 20, which I think is still great because there were more than like 60 something participant or was it 70 something for Miss mm -hmm. International, and placing top 20 was is is a big deal actually it is you know it is yeah. i mean when you go out there you compete it's no longer just about you it's the country it's the, continent, the whole country the entire society yes. yeah because your name becomes south africa you're not baby yeah, when you get on the international stage they like south africa <laughs> Yes. Did you watch that pageant? I didn't. I didn't watch Miss International. I yeah. Didn't. So I also don't know the nitty gritties of it. Like I just saw that Belinda was top 20. So. Top 20. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Miss Earth 2024 is Jessica Lane from Australia. Mm -hmm. And our Jessica didn't place, unfortunately. Um, also, I, I wasn't following Miss Earth that much. I didn't even know when it was held. So this is the first time I'm even hearing of like an Australian contestant being crowned uh, Miss Earth <laughs> or Miss whatever, like with an international title. Yeah, this I'm not first. sure. Hey? I'm not sure if we've ever had. Yeah, Australian this is the first time I'm hearing of her. Yeah, I think I should check her out. 
I, yeah. I, I don't know who she is. I've seen Miss Universe. I've seen Miss International. I haven't seen Miss Earth. Um, I only know our Miss Earth. <laughs> You only know yep. our girl. I only know our girl. And mm -hmm. just like I said, like there's a lot that's been happening. And I think one yeah. of the burning, burning headlines in the pageantry space definitely has to be Miss Universe Nigeria, Chirima Ad Adichina. This girl really stirred the pots. Like she kept them burning for months yep. and months, and she's still burning them. I, yep. Like. I don't even know where to start with her, hey? So, <laughs> she's a former Miss South Africa 2024 finalist, mm -hmm. hey? And, and then she got an invitation to participate for Miss Universe Nigeria after she got um, withdrawn from the competition. I don't know, did she withdraw herself or was it Miss South Africa? She, that she withdrew. Uh, yeah, with the statement, I remember. Mm -hmm. And when the statement came out, it caused a lot of commotion on the socials. Mm -hmm. Everybody had something to say, and it was not only just South Africans. Even Nigeria was concerned as a country mm -hmm. because <laughs> they were getting dragged along with this whole thing. Mm -hmm. And people had mixed emotions regarding Chidima's issue. I think it's very sensitive. Um, mm -hmm. It has too many angles to it that's why i'm saying i don't know how to approach it because there's so many sides to it mm -hmm. you know like also there's alleged alleged stuff going on which i don't want to touch because i don't yeah. have much information on. <laughs> and now with her competing in miss universe representing nigeria she became um the first runner up which is a big deal yes a big deal now imagine from withdrawing from another competition to representing another country to placing and being she, the she almost became this universe yeah she, hmm. she was this close she was like really really this close and mm -hmm. i was watching her because i i was seeing miss universe all the time she was very confident she was very bold like yes. yeah like she was doing everything chest out like her chest was like she was really in it to win it no wonder she placed i mean congratulations to nigeria on that note <laughs> yes and she got crowned miss universe africa and oceana which is a continental title that was introduced this year so i only knew miss universe africa so I didn't know that it also included Oceania. And I think it's very limiting. I mean, Oceania has so many countries and Africa has so many countries. There should be like separate titles. Mm. Miss Universe Africa, Miss Universe Oceania. And on that note, uh, speaking about Oceania, I saw Miss Fiji. Ne? Yeah. She was bold enough to speak out about her experience yeah, at I the Miss Universe. Too um competition which i think was very bold of her yeah. like she's really fearless in that regard um it's especially really just signed nda yes and it could be legally binding next thing you get sued by this huge ass um organization which is yep. really scary for a lot of them mm -hmm. but also i think miss universe is a very big deal so when these girls spend months and months preparing and they get there and their experience is not the way that they had anticipated, it can mm. be really heart wrenching. So I think she was really venting more than anything. It's, yeah. Even though she didn't get into details, but yeah, she still. Like, yeah, she didn't get into much detail, but we get the picture. <laughs> yeah. You know, she made it very clear. And still speaking on Chidima, her case is still ongoing in South Africa, which is um, the alleged um, identity fraud that had been committed by her parents to attain South African citizenship. And now they said that in the last report, um, the Department of Home Affairs had canceled all her documents and that includes her passport her ID and they were handed over for further investigation by the Hawks, which is, yeah, 
the very we will see how that it. goes yeah we just we just have to wait for it to unfold um there's not much to say about it and yeah we don't want to dwell much onto it we're going to move on to mia shame mia had um she 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 made a follow-up video um the following week after miss universe and she explained what had really happened to her at the miss universe and she said that she experienced like severe vertigo so she had already worn her national costume but she struggled to even stand up straight and just like wait backstage mm -hmm. she kept on falling and falling which was really sad um yeah really. she says that she also went to go and see a specialist in mexico um to help her but yeah it was really bad and she just she had no choice but to withdraw essentially because i mean you cannot compromise your health like that yeah especially as a deaf your person health is because important. yeah because i mean you can't walk when you don't have balance mm -hmm. absolutely you cannot and then moving on to our neighbors Botswana guys yes. this has to be my favorite topic right now in pageantry Lisiko Chombo who happens to be a 26 year old um law lawyer I don't know if she's a practicing lawyer or what but I know she's an so... admitted attorney um they said that she's an admitted attorney at law in Botswana so she was Miss World Africa right mm -hmm. and she did very well in that competition when she represented Botswana so she got um appointed as the minister of youth in Botswana which i think oh. is a very oh, very man. big deal it is. i wish i wish each and every pageant girl would get the chance to be a minister in their country there should be a law <laughs> there should be a law. yes that when you reign Maybe you can shadow the minister, yeah, the minister of youth, or become like their partner of some sort. Because mm. I think being Miss South Africa or Miss Botswana has a lot to do with youth and children, you know, mm. and development and leadership in everything. I think it would be really great if everybody got that opportunity. And I think she's really suited to that title because she's really purpose driven. And, and it's she very is the youth. Youth yes she is the youth <laughs> yes yeah. she really is the youth i love there was a meme on twitter so they were comparing the minister of youth um Lesiho from Botswana and the minister of youth from zimbabwe mm -hmm. which happened to be a very grown lady and they were like but guys do you understand context exactly <laughs> minister understand. of youth must be the youth yes yo That's i think I'm Botswana so too yeah, I think Botswana took a very great stride, hey? It yeah. was like a very big one. Like she was coronated um, along with the new president of Botswana, um, His Excellency, Mr. Advocate Duma Boko. Mm -hmm. And all the ministers in Botswana are very young now. I mean, the health minister is like in his 30s. I saw a whole list and I'm like, look at this. Yeah, everyone is like, I, 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 want, I want us to head the direction that Botswana is heading, you know. I feel like yeah. there's light. <laughs> and, and then also, Namibia, Namibia had oh, the elections. Namibia yes, and also had the elections and they're saying they might have their first ever female president. And I'm like, okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. But, you know, power of... Our um, neighbors are working. Yes, <laughs> power of proximity. Yes. It shall come yes. to us very soon. Yes. <laughs> yes, our neighbors are at work, so let's get with them, yes. please. <laughs> They're at work. And in Namibia was actually the first country to have the youngest person in, in parliament. I forgot the lady's name, but she was 23 mm. when she got imagine. elected as a member of parliament. Imagine. So imagine. Our neighbors are moving. I mean, I think we'll get into the groove as well sooner or later. Yeah, sooner or later. <laughs> yeah. Eventually. And then um, moving on to Mrs. South Africa 2025. So Erin Jane Miller was crowned Mrs. South Africa 2025. 
And the first runner up is Tiamo Kitinji. And the second runner up is Lisa Jittens. I don't know if it's Jittens or Kittens. Um, congratulations are in order to all the wonderful women. Well, this is also one of like the biggest, biggest pageants in the country. And yes. yeah, I don't think it gets as much um, spotlight to it because it's a missus pageant. Mrs. So it's mm -hmm. exclusively for married people. But yeah, it's also a very powerful platform. Um, any married person should really look into it. Mm -hmm. And then um, Miss Intercontinental South Africa. So um, apparently they cancelled their grand finale like two months ago. Um, so now they just introduced their top three um, title holders for Miss Intercontinental, which is very um, brow raising. Um, so for the year 2024, um, the queen is Zelda Muchocho, or is it Muchocho? Not sure, sorry. And the first runner up is Muyawashe Makaiza. And the second runner up is Pearl Ndlovu. Congratulations to all the queens. Congratulations. Um, I think Miss Intercontinental is also such a wonderful platform. Um, congratulations are in order again. And, and then um, uh, is isn't it that the the international one is is underway at the moment? I'm not sure if they're still there or they've already crowned. I'm not sure. Hey, I just saw some sure as as well. Okay. Um, okay. All right. We'll find out. <laughs> yes, and then Mukhaura Maila. This one I saw last night, and I was like, wow. <laughs> so our Miss Teen World South Africa one yes. miss teen world so she is the currently reigning miss teen miss world um uh, yes miss teen world wow she was awarded with the special director's choice award of miss teenager world at the international grand finale in lima peru last night wow this is now this is huge also it's South Africans huge. Are just I had an, I, yo i had an interview with Mohao like mm. yeah before she went to peru and oh man it's one of my favorite interviews yeah with her. she's amazing she literally grew up right in front of my eyes and now i'm looking yes. at her and i'm like oh man i'm so proud of you baby wow. <laughs> so now you feel like a pageant <laughs> auntie like yeah i do i feel like a pageant auntie I'm just like, I can't believe it. <laughs> and she looks absolutely stunning. Yeah. She was beautiful. Yep. As she always. She was bold. Ever. My God. I mean, she really deserved it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah that was really great of her. I think mm -hmm. South Africa is truly proud of her. Mm -hmm. I love it when we win internationally. The world must be reminded every chance we get to good see we are here. South Africa is here. Yes. <laughs> mm. All right. So next Tuesday we will be back again with with the it is within her series and mm -hmm. we will be featuring Miss Limpopo Province Teen and Queen of South Africa Teen Gino Sitole. And yeah, we back same time, 7 p.m. sharp. I will be your host. And yes, please don't follow. Yes. Sorry, please do follow us on all <laughs> our socials as <laughs> Her Majesty organizations across all platforms. Please like, subscribe, leave us comments. We will highly appreciate that. Um, yes. Until next time, have a great evening further. Enjoy your weekends. We know weekend in Kulu apparently I just heard today that <laughs> in Kulu, guys. Weekend in Kulu. Please be safe out there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all of your engagements from myself and baby. And I rest of the team. Bye. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.